right, Algebra 1, Lesson 24. This is on the multiplicative property of equality. Okay, so basically we're going to take the same kind of problems that we did the last lesson, and instead of plussing and minusing things, yes. we're going to multiply and divide things, okay? So watch what I do. 5x equals 20. Now, when a number is next to a letter, what does it mean? Times. So I could actually say 5 times x equals 20. Now, if you know anything about math, you know this answer is 4, okay? But let's say you didn't because you need to know how to work these problems even when they get harder. Okay, so again, you want your x's on one side, your number's on the other. And right now my x is on the left side, but I have a number over here. And I have times 5 over here. So, if, you divide so five five. if I bring it over here, you're exactly right. Times 5 becomes the opposite of timesing something is dividing something. So we are going to, you can put divided by 5 like that, or you can just take divided by 5 like that. Which do you prefer? Uh, divided by 5 like that, or? Divided by the first one, the top this one. This one? Top one. The top one, yeah. Okay, so this is 20 divided by 5. So I'm going to take away this. So x equals 20 divided by 5, and so then x equals 4. And if we were to put that back in there, 5 times 4, the answer is correct, 20. See how simple that is? Yeah. Okay, let's try another one. 2 fifths x, and this one gets a little bit harder, so I'm going to make it times x, because we know that that's what that means. 2 fifths x equals 7. Now, I have one fraction and I have a whole number. What should I do with this whole number? Uh, you could bring it over to this side. Okay, well, but wait a minute for, for just a second. Two fifths is a fraction, this is a whole number. Oh, you can make it into a fraction right. as well. Okay, so seven is really seven over one, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to do it. Let's put the x's on this side and times two fifths um, over on this side. And because it's times two fifths, it becomes divided by two fifths. Now, this is where it's important that you do write it out like this divided by two-fifths because we're going to have to change it. So I'm going to go in and take this times two-fifths and move it since we're done with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this says x equals this divided by this. What do I do with this division? You make it a times and yep. then that becomes and five then two. fraction to the right changes to its reciprocal, which is five halves instead of two over five. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if we can cancel out anything. No, we can't. So it ends up being 35 over 2. Let me see if that's the final answer. Um, yes, it is. Okay? X equals 35 over 2. All right, here we go another one. Okay. 2 and a fourth times X. Now, remember, it doesn't have that times X there. I, I had to go and make that. Yeah. Equals 3. Now, what should I do on this problem? Because I have a mixed number you can make, and a whole number. Uh, you can make them both in proper fractions. Okay, so let's do that. Five, four, four times two five. is eight. Eight nine plus one four. is nine. So this becomes nine fourths. And then that could be three over times one. Times x equals three over one. Very good. Three over one. That's exactly what you should do. We want to make them both into fractions. And since this was a mixed number, we made it into a fraction improper. Now, we want to put the x on this side. So we're going to take the times nine fourths and bring it over and make it divided by... 9 fourths. Done with that. So now x equals 3 over 1 divided by 9 fourths. So we're going to make it times over, do the reciprocal from 9 fourths to 4 ninths. Okay. Are there any canceling we can do? Yes. Yep. 3 and 9. 3 and 9. 3 and 1. 3 over 1 and 9 three times. And the answer becomes 4. 1 times 3 is 3. And that's your answer, 4 thirds. Very good. You feel like you're understanding it? Yep. Okay, now, I want you to watch these next ones because they may be a little bit difficult, but it doesn't have to be. So, this says x divided by 3 equals 9. Okay. Okay. So, then, so, this, if you want to, you can say x divided by 3 equals 9. Yeah. Go on and put it in that and form. And you can pull it over there and make 3 times right. 9. So, we want our x's on this side. Take your divided by 3 bring it over here, and so the opposite of dividing is times. timesing it, multiplying it, times 3. And so we're done with that. And so then x equals 9 times 3, which is 27. x is 27. All right, and last one. All right, and it's a two-part problem. So stay with me. x divided by 2.5. Now you've got to take multiple steps in this one equals 7. 
very first step I would take, it says x divided by that, you I would say x divided by two and, two and a half equals seven. And then you can make them both fractions. Yes. You do not ever want to leave two and, um, a mixed number when you're adding, or I'm yeah. sorry, not adding, multiplying or dividing. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take this. Two times two is four plus one is five. This is going to become five over two. Just make it into an improper fraction. And then seven whole would become what? Seven, seven over one. one. Very good. Now you've set it up just like you want it. We've got x's on this side divided by five over two needs to move, so we'll just have x's on this side. And so divided by five over two becomes uh, times five oh, yeah, over yeah. two, right? Yep. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this divided part you multiply and bring it over. Um, okay, good. And so then is there anything we can take apart no, or cancel? No, it's no. just time. So it becomes 35 over 2. two. And that would be the answer. That is the answer. Good job. Last one they have on the book. Let's do it. This is P divided by P divided by 3 halves and then equals 4 and 1 third. Now this makes it a little bit harder, but let's go ahead and write it out like it is. P divided by 3 halves equals 4 and 1 third. What do I need to do? 4 and 1 third into an improper fraction. Very good. Make this into improper. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 13, 13 over 3. Very good. All right. So now this says P divided by 3, um, 3 over 2 equals that. You can move that to the other side. We want this to be moved. Times so P two. equals, and then this is, instead of divided by 3 halves, it's going to be times 3 halves. Good. Now, this 3 and this 3 can cancel out. Yep. 1 and 1, and that, that's it. 13 over 2. Becomes 13 over 2, and that is the final answer. Lesson 24.